Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Backstabber John McCain just slapped every American across the face, then takes a swipe at Trump. Arizona Senator John McCain very much dislikes President Trump. This isn't exactly breaking news. Everyone knows this is the case. The problems between the two men probably date back even before Trump's comments during the campaign about McCain being captured during the Vietnam War, but they've only intensified since Trump defeated Hillary Clinton in the general election. We know McCain has already slapped all Americans across the face this year when he refused to side with Republicans in repealing Obamacare, but he's not done just yet. Now, McCain has shut down confirmation hearings for Pentagon employees because he's mad at Trump, per Conservative Tribune. According to the Daily Caller, McCain told Defense Secretary James Mattis and Joint Chiefs of Staff Chairman and Marine General Joseph Dunford that he will prevent the Trump administration from appointing needed officials at the Pentagon until he has more questions answered. There are not two individuals that I admire more than are sitting at the table facing this committee, but I want to tell you again, we will not accept a lack of information, a lack of strategy, a lack of coordination with this committee. McCain said at an Armed Services Committee hearing on Afghanistan. McCain added, and there are several methods, thanks to the Constitution, that we have to try and force a change in that relationship. I've been told by both of you that we are having a strategy, that we are now going to work closely together with the committee, that we are working with various allies. I'm glad to hear that. If you're ticked off with McCain's childish behavior let him know about it. Let's get 10,000 shares to tell McCain we're sick and tired of his BS. Time's up Nancy Pelosi just got stabbed in the back by people in her own party. Uh-oh. Nancy Pelosi is in trouble. According to Linda Sanchez, it's time for Nancy Pelosi and other old House leaders to step out of the way. Our leadership does a tremendous job, but we do have this real breadth and depth of talent within our caucus and I do think it's time to pass the torch to a new generation of leaders, Sanchez said. It's a bold declaration and is likely to mean that it's time for Pelosi to get out. There has been some rumors that people weren't happy about her. Sanchez of Whittier then made the statement in an interview with the Los Angeles Times and the Washington Post during a taping of C-SPAN's Newsmakers which will air this Sunday. Sanchez was asked if Pelosi would keep her position if a vote were held today. There are a lot of members in our caucus and, again, everybody has their opinion. I just don't know what the answer to that is, Sanchez responded. It seems that Pelosi's time is over. Maybe Sanchez is just mad about Pelosi for getting her that one time. Share this out everywhere if you are tired of Nancy Pelosi. The Democrats are about to eat her up. Good. That woman is cancer on American politics. Thanks for reading. man in iconic Vegas photo risked his life for her, now his stunning true identity is revealed. Matthew Cobos was one of thousands of people in attendance at the Route 91 Harvest Festival in Las Vegas the night Stephen Paddock opened fire from the 32nd floor of Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino. Paddock fired hundreds of rounds over the span of 10-ish minutes. He was able to fire so rapidly due to altering his semi-automatic rifles and making them fully automatic. Kobos is the man in the now well-known picture covering up a woman from further being her. It has now been revealed that Kobos is a U.S. Army soldier, for Daily Mail. The mystery man at the center of one of the most haunting images from the Las Vegas massacre has been revealed as a young U.S. Army soldier who bravely ran into the danger zone to help others. Matthew Kobos was photographed on Sunday night lying on top of a young woman in an attempt to shield her from the barrage of bullets tearing through the air around them. Go figure, right? A hero acting like an actual hero. When the photo first emerged, 
It wasn't clear if the woman was dead or seriously injured. But the man who took it, Giddy photographer David Becker, revealed on Tuesday that the couple had managed to run away seconds after the photo was snapped. Doesn't get more incredible than that. Good on you, Matthew. Share this article to let all Democrats know that this is why we stand for the national anthem. We stand to honor our true heroes. Nancy Sinatra just said the NRA should be shot, what she said about Trump is way worse. Nancy Sinatra isn't satisfied with the 59 lives lost in Las Vegas this week. She wants more people to die, and she has an idea of who. No, it's not terrorists who perpetuate this sort of tragedy. Nor is it the people who may have helped shooter Stephen Paddock carry out the attack. Sinatra wants the NRA to die. Literally. In a tweet sent shortly after the attack, the daughter of legendary singer Frank Sinatra said that members of the organization should face a firing squad. Leave it to a crazy Hollywood to celeb to combat gun violence with gun violence, all while opposing guns. In continuation of her bizarre rant, Sinatra also claimed that Donald Trump was complicit in the tragedy and should therefore be impeached. Sinatra's abrupt switch to impeachment may be crazy, but it isn't exactly surprising. Liberals such as Sinatra commonly try to respond to tragedy by pushing their own political agenda. Who cares that using violence to push a political agenda is literally terrorism? All they care about is attacking Trump. Well, mission accomplished. But she did a better job of making herself look like an unhinged lunatic. What do you think of Sinatra's rand? Sound off in the comments and share so that everyone knows how vile and insane this woman is. We need to expose the crazy. Nancy Pelosi just thanked illegals for helping her on live TV. This will ruin her. Nancy Pelosi is quite arguably the wackiest Democrat in California. That's saying something, considering the Golden State also employs Senators Dianne Feinstein and Kamala Harris, Governor Jerry Brown, and Congressman Ted Lieu. Pelosi, the House Minority Leader, has the worst favorability rating of any member of Congress. Even Californians want her to resign, yet she refuses to listen. We all know how much Dems love them some illegals, which is why what Nancy said live on CNN last night about the parents of Dreamers isn't all that unexpected. Though, that doesn't make it right. Watch below as Pelosi thanks law-breaking parents for sneaking their kids across the border. From Free Beacon House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi, D, California thanked a Dreamer's parents Wednesday for bringing him to the United States illegally. Our Dreamers, they make America dream again, Pelosi said. They're so lovely and we, frankly, owe a debt to your parents for bringing you here to be such a brilliant part of our future. It's just like a liberal to honor the lawbreakers, isn't it? If Pelosi's remarks make you mad as hell let her know about it. Share this 10,000 times to let everyone in America know that Dems do not care about the rule of law. Trump drops the hammer on all fake news networks with two tweets, CNN and NBC are screwed. That's it. President Trump has had enough. No more fake news. No more BS from the far-left media that serves as the communications branch for the Democrat Party. Their days are numbered. Why? Because Trump wants the Senate Intelligence Committee to open an investigation into fake news networks. Here are two tweets he sent this morning that has NBC, CNN, and others shaking in their booties. While we can all agree that left-wing fake news about the president and his administration needs to stop. Congress getting involved isn't the answer. Ask yourself, do you want the government intervening in how the press goes about their business, even if all they do is lie? Freedom of speech is still very important, regardless of what is said. Do you agree with Trump? Let us know in the comments section. HT, Right Scoop.
Rex Tillerson just unveiled secret thing Trump did to save millions of Americans. Media silent. Rex Tillerson took to the floor on Wednesday to stop the MSNBC rumors that he had called Donald Trump a moron. It's absolutely disgusting that the media can lie, lie, like like this without any sources. Tillerson did say something yesterday that the media won't report on. They won't report on it because it makes Trump look very good. It appears that Donald Trump saved millions of people and the media didn't even report on it. What a shame. They hate the American people and don't want to ever give Trump some good press. Donald Trump smacked down the media this morning. I want to dispel with this notion that I have ever considered leaving, Tyson said. That should have been the end of that. We need to help our president get this news out. Let's get it past the media and show all of America how wonderfully hard our president works. Share this to get this past the media and help our president. Thanks.